This is B. She's 50% lab, 50% husky. She'll be two in July. They, these poor owners, they've tried lots of training. They said the prong collar was the most effective, but only a little bit. Um, they've had her in all sorts of classes and lessons. And even after all of that, she does not listen. She cannot be off leash. Um, they have to pretty much follow her around the house, putting out fires. Um, nothing aggressive. She's very friendly. She's just in her own world. She's eating stuff she shouldn't. They have to send her to daycare. They both work from home because they just literally can't work from home with her in the house. Mm. Right. Come here. Hi. How are you? Oh, you're so cute. B. Hey, come. Come here. Oh, B, you don't listen? B, hey, come here. Be a good girl. Be a good girl, B. I asked if they let her off leash and they said no. They can't even get her to come inside the house. Come here. You're smart. She's smart. Good. Come on. Hello. B, come here. Good. Come here. B, come here. Come here. Look at you learning. Come here. Good. E, come here. Come here. Come here. Hello, it's me. Come here. Good. Come here. She wants to know how high it can go. Good. She wants to see if it's worth it. So eventually I'm gonna to have to give her one that is more aversive. But right now she's learning. I can see her understanding how this is working because I'm going higher as she gets away and lower as she gets closer. Come here. Once I see that the understanding is there, I'm gonna give her a real consequence and then she'll come right to me. Come here. Good. There you go. You seen the answer right there, but she's gonna try again because it wasn't that heavy, but it was heavy enough to get her attention. Come here. Come here. Come here. There's a puppy in there. How is she? She'll be two in July. Okay. Good girl. Wow. Good job. Good job. That was amazing. Look how <coughs> beautiful you are. Good girl. Come. Good. Come. Good. Oh wow. my gosh. Good girl. <laughs> Good. She's like a big fox right here. She's, She's really gorgeous. gorgeous. You are gorgeous. She says, I know. Good. Very nice. Very, very nice. Nice. Tom's getting her moving. That is good. Good. Good, good girl. Amazing. <laughs> Very good. Absolutely excellent behavior. <laughs> Absolutely excellent behavior. Wow. Smart girl, good girl. You are a good girl. Hi, how are you? I know. You. She's in our reality now. So I'm gonna take advantage of that and start you know, touching her to see if I can get some trust from her or where she lands, okay? So she's offering consensually some submissiveness. Good deal. And I'm gonna tell her, I like submissiveness. And she's gonna realize post-correction, submissive. So that means soften what you're doing, disengage in whatever it was you were doing wrong, and uh, listen to me. You know, be, be uh, what's the other word I'm looking for? Soft. Soft. They said they can't do her nails. Yeah. And attentive, like calm and connected though, like we say. I want you to relax, but I want you to pay attention to my direction. Because around here, the, what she learns is we're going to be able to correct and then direct. Um, and that's something, once they realize you can do that, that's when they start to listen. That's really it. Good. I'm going to see how she feels about this. Oh, it's nice. 
Nice. Huh? I like that. Good girl. Well, she goes too fast. Good girl. Come. You're not done yet. I want to show you how to do these. Good girl. Stay. Good. Good. Stay. You are a good girl. Good. Wow. That looks really nice. Good girl. That's excellent. Let me tell you, that's excellent. Good girl. Look at that. It's a good girl. That's a good girl. Break. Yay, good girl. That wasn't your color stem, by the way. It's just the motion of my hand. Good. Good. Good girl. Yeah, she came in, so when I went to go over to interact with her, it, she was very uh, skittish, actually. And so I let her free, and she was just kind of very insecure acting right now. I don't know how she is at home. Um, but I think she's probably way more confident at home. Mm -hmm. She's kind of out of her element. Good. We're going to let her out and we call her back in. Yeah, I got ahead of the day today. I worked the other two dogs and went really well. It's like she, oh, there she goes. Come. And a girl. She helps generalize it because we're already from the beginning starting to use it out there. That's it. Come here, girl. Come on. Oh, come here. Come here. Come. Come here. Good girl. Good girl. Hi. Hello. We'll be doing that a couple times. Good girl. Good. Nice. Good. My favorite thing about this way of doing it is all the bites that a dog would be giving at me <laughs> way over there and she gets to get her attitude out over there right because she already knows what I want her to do she just wants to use she doesn't want to give me that level of control because then that means I can exercise it whenever you know so they, they make you earn it what she doesn't realize is this will open up her life much bigger and she'll actually have a better life if she allows a human to be the leader but sh she will they all do she'll eventually be like having a leader's great I'm a follower and she'll be in that mindset and she'll live like that and life will be good. But right now you see her fighting and all that. Some dogs don't use their teeth, some do, and she was using her teeth. So if I was doing it years ago when I, before I did it this way, I'd be doing that stuff on the leash and she, that dog would come up the leash and it would be a mess. Because they just want to, you know, the brain just goes over to fight and they fight real quick. They try to flee, they can't, because that's not how the exercise works here. They know that. They know to turn it off, they come to me. They know it gets hotter as they go away. They know this. So then when she's tempted with, um, with a temptation and, and environmental, which is another to the door to the outside world, she's saying, okay, I'm willing to fight for this freedom. But what she's also getting is a learning experience. She's learning this is what happens when you fight the system, and this is what happens when you don't. When you don't, there's no aversive, and there's only me being proud of you and giving you rewards. When you fight the system, there's going to be an aversive. And, every, and, and the longer you want to prolong it, we can get hotter with the aversive, right? So they learn that. So it keeps them in line, and they stop testing the boundary. They don't want to go and do that anymore. So they avoid doing that by listening. And then they, they really become followers. It's a different mentality, okay? So, stay. I want to see if she can release now. No, 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 no. Stay. That's good. You sit. Oh. I know she knows. I know sit. she knows. She just told me she knows. I know. She's I had all her, that I training. I want to show her another mechanic of mine that she doesn't know yet. That's a game changer. 
set. Sit. Good. That's all attitude. And she's going to lay down fine, whatever. This is the first time I'm meeting her. So she, it's more about her being a follower than anything. Her trying, her giving effort to listen to a human, which she should. That should be the dynamic. That's how they have a, that's how they have a good life. Dogs who don't listen to their humans, they have very small lives and very stressful, stressful lives. Good. Okay. Good. She's starting to see that I have control that she's never experienced. So you see, she's gonna, if she decides to follow, when she decides to follow, she will give me everything she already knows. So whatever, whoever taught her sit down and all that stuff, she'll give me all that once she sees me as leader. Once she, once I prove to her, right? We go through this ritual. And we're about to hit another part of the exercise here, which is getting the other dogs in the room and starting to set boundaries and see if she can recall with dogs in the room. Which she's going to see I can handle the pack, I'm going to control the pack. And then she's going to realize that I can control her, which elevates me in status here, which then makes tomorrow a lot easier for me. No. That's good. You stay. That's good. I like that. Break. Yay, good girl. Yay! Good girl! B? That's, nice. That's really nice girl. That's really good! Yeah, it's a nice girl in there, isn't there? Yes, there is. Alright, let's start with the... Hmm, how do I want to play this? Good. Good. She let him have that. He's being a little rude, but I'm allowing it. I want to see what she does. This is real life. I want to see. He's not going to hump her. He knows he can't do that. He can't. He's not going to bite her. He knows he can't do that. And, he's, uh, and he knows he can't put his head in the crotch for too long, too intensely. But I do want him to put some real life pressure on her, what a dog would really do to her. Good, and she did amazing. But let's see, she's not disengaged from me either, she keeps looking at me. Come. There it is. Come. Good. Come here. Good, that's it baby girl. Nice work. Good. So, break that rep down. She heard what I said, had an ultimatum, purposely was unfaithful. Purposely was unfaithful. It's not like she didn't know what she was doing. She said, yeah, not today. I'm going to I'm gonna go try to hang with this new animal in the room, the dog. It could have been a human, too. She's just going to try to use it as a host. I'd rather interact with this one. Then she felt the correction kick in. Then she recalled. Actually, she went past it once enough to a place that because she's probably an autopilot like they said, but she won't be after a couple of days of living here. This environment doesn't allow um, autopilot. Well, let's say autopilot doesn't do well in this environment. You have to be uh, in the moment, aware and thinking, especially the first week, especially. So that's what wakes the dogs up. They're kind of just kind of like an autopilot. They've got all these bad associations and behaviors tied to them and they're just on the tracks. They come here and it's just like the brain just realizes after the first day that they're going to have to think and they're going to have to rely on the human to get through this. And we create a follower and a dog who's in the moment and who's constantly kind of looking at what's happening in the environment, looking at their handler and saying, how would my owner want me to behave? How would my handler want me to behave? And they do that instead of thinking, what do I want to do right now? Okay. Good. So she's, you know, she's not, obviously her behavior, her choices aren't perfect. They're kind of like they're a little off and annoying. But when I see her trying, I'm still going to tell you right now because that's what I want. I just want a follower. Once I have a follower, you can learn all that easy stuff, the commands. So, good. And you see her doing that. She's, she's definitely attaching to me. Break. Yay. Good. Break. Good. Let's get more dogs in. 